but Redivo's come from last and continues to go strongly. 100 to go. Opened up a three-length lead from Shakib and Apache Thunder, who'll battle out minor spots, but Redivo outstays them here to one by three and a half lengths. Yeah, great result, Redivo. Um, it's amazing with uh, racehorses when they get over a trip. The whole world changes when you get past 2,000 metres. A lot of, you know, milers can get taught to run 2,000 metres, but when you get to that 2,400, 2,700, the whole world changes. And uh, uh, I must admit, Redivo is one of our slowest horses. Just you push the button on the stopwatch, and he doesn't set you on fire. I tell you, but he um, uh, he can really, really stay. So anyway, he'll get his chance. Um, I'm, I'm contemplating backing him up on Friday night at the Valley. Um, I'll just see how he is tomorrow, but he certainly seems to have come through that run really well so um, there's a nice race in um, in two weeks time for him uh, back at the valley it's a good prize money over 3,000 meters so uh, all road roads will lead to that just how we get in there so uh, he may back up Friday night if not he might go to Cranbourne the following week but um, good result um, great to see the horse actually get over that sort of big trip and um, and sort of outstay them Phoenix Affair having a first up run at Geelong on Friday, 1500. I've trialled her up a fair bit, this filly. I've done a fair bit with her. Um, and um, so I'm, I just think she's going to get over a good trip. So I'm not going to muck around rather than running her in a couple of sprint races and then sort of stepping her up. I'm going to jump her straight to a middle distance race and uh, then we'll step her up to a staying distance. So we'll probably just jump out, ride her a little bit off the speed and, uh, and have her hitting the line nice and strong. But she seems to be going okay. You can see she's not a, she, she's a real, uh, very much still got a real filly sort of look about her, this filly. And um, uh, all she's a four-year-old you know but um uh, she's going well she seems nice and lovely and sound and she's ready to go to the races so that's phoenix affair at geelong on friday Bella Bushka will go to Geelong on Friday, first up. Uh, he's been trialling up pretty good, this horse. Um, had a wind operation, and that looks like it's really worked with him. He certainly, his breathing is really, really good. So um, he's all ready to go. If you give him a couple of good, solid trials, he's had a good, solid gallop through the week, and he worked good. Uh, we can't do any more. It's up to him now. So uh, he'll, he'll go to Geelong on Friday in a 12 and a meter maiden, uh, and I'm expecting him to run a place or better. He's, he's going really well. He looks great. He's very fit, and um, I'll have no excuses for him. So that's Bella Bushka on Friday at Geelong. Got Redivo in on uh, Friday night at the Valley. I'm not sure if I run him yet. He, he, he's on a big backup, but um, he uh, he certainly seems to have come through that race really well the other day at Werribee. So, um, look, I'll get a blood count taken from him tomorrow. If all's good, he might might back up. Um, there's a nice race for him in a couple of weeks, which I want to try and get him to. So, uh, but um, at the moment, uh, I can't I can't find any excuse not to run him. He's um he seems well, and he certainly you can see he's such a relaxed sort of horse um, that uh, he seems to have pulled up pretty good from Werribee. So, that's Redivo on Friday. Friday night at the Valley. Got Tango drilled in at the Valley Friday night. She was very good first up. Uh, you would only think she's going to be improved. Temperament probably let her down a little bit first up. So um, just interesting to see how she goes under the light. She might just absolutely fry or she might be a lot better. I'm not sure, but uh, she'll bounce and she'll put herself right on the bunny. Uh, there'll be good speed in the race and she'll be one of those horses on the speed. But um, you can see she's in very good order. She's very fit. She went into her first up run really well and she raced well. So she only really has to reproduce that. And she's certainly going to be around about the placings on Friday night. That's Tango Jewel. Little Miss Gutsa, I've got her in at the Valley Friday night. Um, she's probably just coming to the end of her run, this filly. She, um, she, we set her for a couple of races. We try, was going to try and teach her to run a mile in the spring and it didn't work. We freshened her up back to 1300 and it was, she was good. Wasn't far from them. Comes back to the 1200 on Friday night. Um, I'll just really be dependent on how she goes Friday night, whether she stays in work or goes for a holiday, but she could probably maybe have a little Christmas holiday, probably do all the world a good and uh, come back next time in. But um, she's going well. She's just always going to be competitive in this grade. So that is Little Miss Guts at the Valley Friday night. Going to give Tories D a crack at a 9.55 at the Valley on Friday night. He's been sort of jumping out, sitting really handy and uh, and just sort of struggling a little bit. Um, I thought his first up run was plain, but the jockey just said he did nothing but knock up. But um, but in this race on Friday night, there's real, real speed. Um, I wouldn't think he'll get in the same postcode as them early. So um, instead of him sort of being up on the speed, travelling and then sort of weakening out of it, I'm just going to see how he is. Is he, He's going to be the horse sort of sitting off, having the drop on him. Uh, there's a couple in this sort of proper 9.55 horses that are just out and absolute go. Um, so we'll, I'd say we'll be a fair way off him at some stage, but hopefully um, he'll be closing really late. And if they sit up, uh, he can finish off over the top of them. But a um, uh, bit of an experimental sort of thing. It's benchmark 70, so it's the strongest grade he's run in. Um, but um, I don't know, he's a nice little sound horse. Let's have a crack at a half decent pace with him. That's Tories D.
Got Bell Mia in at the uh, uh, Caulfield on Saturday, um, 1,400 metre race. She was very good winning at Sandown the other day. I'd love to be back at Sandown again, but we've got to go to Caulfield. Uh, there's a nice race at Geelong on the 6th of January. It's a $100,000 fillies race for over 1,400. Looks ideal for her, so we're going to send her around to Caulfield. So it gives me a couple of weeks then to get her ready for the other race, but um, she seems good. Hopefully she can begin a little bit better and travel up, And uh, but it's a, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a strong race. It's a fillies race, uh, benchmark 78 for fillies it is. And um, uh, so, you know, it's a really, really strong race, but um, hopefully she can be competitive and then all roads will lead to Geelong in a couple of weeks. Got a Zoya in at Tarang on Tuesday. Uh, goes up to the mile, Phillies and Mares race. That should suit us. Oh, I thought she was plain first up. She was okay without sort of setting the world on fire. Um, her work this week's good. Um, fitness hopefully is good. Mile, Phillies and Mares, you know, she's got to show us something um, on Tuesday. Um, but I'm really confident she will. I, I love the way she got to the line yesterday in her work. And um, I'll give her a nice gallop on Saturday morning. That'll top her up nicely for Tuesday. That's a Zoya at Tarang. Bingo's Bang uh, was good on a wet track the other day, got back and ran home strong. We are up to the 1400 this week, so this is what we've sort of been looking for with him. Um, uh, he'll go to Tarang on Tuesday, uh, jump out, hopefully be able to be midfieldish, and uh, and then finish off strong, a big long run in at, at, um, at Tarang. Sort of the, everything should be sort of suit him, and we find out exactly where we're at with this horse. He's been, um, he, uh, he's been, he's probably let me down a bit, only because he, he works up so good. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I may have played him wrong thinking he's going to be a uh, run-on sprinter where he might be just a middle distance horse. So that's Bingo's Bang at Terang on Tuesday. It's not unusual. We'll go to Terang on Tuesday. I had this horse in at um, Benalla on Saturday and he just um, had a little bit of a, almost like a bit of colic and um, just got really crooked for about an hour here yesterday, yesterday morning. Um, so um, we've taken him out of Benalla and we'll take him to Terang. We'll get a blood out of him tomorrow, make sure he's okay and give him a gallop Saturday. But um, he's really well and healthy, this horse, and he sort of got us by a bit by surprise where he... Uh, yeah, we worked him, and uh, and then he sort of half by colic straight after he worked. So um, hopefully that's okay. We had to give him a little bit of anti-inflammatories, um, which uh, obviously has a swab period, so we couldn't race him on uh, on Saturday. But so instead of going to Benalla, he will go to Tarang on Tuesday. Just Bolts will go to Tarang on Tuesday. A thousand metre three-year-old. That's a great race for him. He sort of hung on for dear life the other day and just sort of couldn't quite finish off. Hopefully just he, he just keeps improving with fitness. Uh, he only has to find two or three lengths this horse and he's going to be winning races and then uh, hopefully he'll just keep improving. But he's always been a bit of a fatty boomba and we're just sort of starting to get to the bottom of him and get fit. So uh, we'll see how he goes on Tuesday. That's Just Bolts. G'day guys, uh, welcome to Around the Stables. Uh, this week's horse saw a horse called Tango Jewel. She was terrific first up. She certainly caught me by surprise how well she uh, she ran out the uh, the 1200. She was uh, jumped, jumped, showed good speed, uh, led him up and one just had a drop on her and then just sort of got nabbed the last 50 metres. But um, she was terrific. She was strong through the line, even through the line. Um, she took a power of pulling up. So uh, we'll take her to the valley Friday night, uh, same distance. Uh, Jaws Gate, Jordan Gate 3, Jordan Child Sticks. So uh, lots of ticks in the boxes. Really strong race. Um, I think Kieran Mars horse. And it's pretty smart, so um, I think if we beat it, then um, we'll probably go pretty close to winning the race. So, um, but no, she's really good. She's probably still a while away in her coat. I, so I, I still think there's there's a, a, little, a fair bit of improvement in her. Um, probably what you didn't see first up is that uh, her behaviour and mannerisms at the race we were, um, uh, yeah, we're <laughs> a bit out of going. So um, she sweated up, and even in the mountain yard and onto the way of the gate, she um, just sort of lost the plot a bit. So to, to stick on as well as she did, she probably did a really good job. So um, we'll go to the valley on speed, you know, join a gate. So lots of ticks in the boxes. So if she can, um, you know, jump and, uh, and, and hold him out, then uh, I think she'll, um, she'll take a power beating. So that's Tango Jewel on the, at the valley on Friday night. That's it for another week at MZ Lodge. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, really busy week this week. Lots of runners. Uh, plenty of runners in town, actually. Um, a bit of a roll of the dice with a few. Go to Caulfield today with uh, Miletus. 
Um, I tossed up whether to take him to uh, Caulfield on a Thursday. Why is it Caulfield of a Thursday and not a Wednesday? I don't know what that is. It was a morning to meeting Wednesday and then Caulfield of a Thursday. I don't know what that is. Uh, and then back up uh, at Caulfield on the Saturday. So we, we opted probably go to today. I thought it was a better race for him. Um, so he'll come out of uh, he'll come out of Caulfield on Saturday. A couple four runners on the, the Valley Friday night if we run Redivo. Um, you know, they're all going really well, those horses, and so uh, they'll all get their chance. Uh, just a uh, funny racing, isn't it? We, we took um, Redivo, couldn't have been more impressive winning the other day, but we ran a little, couple of little maideners and uh, one little maider in particular, little Chapeau, um, he got galloped on really badly and uh, cut his front leg really poorly and ended up running last and uh, uh, poor little fella. But he's recovered well for those who are interested and uh, uh, we've been working him since he raced and he seems fine, so we'll probably give him a nice gallop next week and hopefully get him back to the races. But uh, yeah, a funny sort of racing, you're really disappointed and then you come out and that horse wins brilliantly, so that's racing, I suppose. Till next week, see you later. Is your camera level? Is your camera level up your camera? It's been a long time coming, but I have my first race meet on Saturday. Saturday at Colac. Um, I got into the start again, yeah. Start, start again. again. Uh, I've got three rides: one for the stable SOR, and two for Alan Hunter, Rosa Texas, and Grace Knight, which is a first starter. Um, I've ridden them both in trials. Oh, both. Sorry.